Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our annual financial planning meeting. I uh, wanted to discuss last quarter, next quarter, and beyond. I uh, wanted to make sure that uh, our diversification is on point, and I want to uh, talk about profitability and um, vertical and horizontal integrations. All right, so let's just get started here. <laughs> And then let's discuss uh, how systematic vertical integration will affect next quarter's profitability statement. Um, well, what are your thoughts on this? You know, I've been here for 25 years, and the way we used to do things... Okay, like thank, thank you all. It's very enlightening. Um, Ron, what do you have to say? Oh, well, uh, clearly the situation has reached its tipping point. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking Speaking about. Speaking of tipping point. Yeah, we share it. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Come here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ben, what is your solution? What? Uh, y your solution. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Oh, yes, yes, my solution, yes. I um, actually uh, gave, gave, gave the solution um, a, a, a lot of thought. I um, was working, um, yes, my solution. Uh, <clears throat> yes, um, wait a minute. Yes, they'll come to me. Oh look, it's a giant penguin! saying diversification Thank you Ben for saving Bro. me You saved all of us and the company too Can you get any more amazing? Yes, hello. Yes, he is. Uh, uh, yes, right away, sir, right away. It's for you. It's the President of the United States. He wants to talk to you, Ben. Hey, what's going on, Home Slice? Nothing, just chilling. All right, cool. Peace out. What did he say? Oh, he just wanted to give me the Medal of Honor. Again. Oh, nice. Oh, this calls for a celebration. Champagne for everyone! How about Grosch beer instead? Grosch beer? The delightful beverage made with two different types of hops? That's right, one for taste and the other for aroma. Absolutely fantastic. And so are you, Ben. Let's hear it for Ben, everybody. Ben, 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 Ben. What the hell are you doing?
Here with us tonight is Detective Puzo. Detective? These are all independent cases. There are no connections between the instances that you are stringing together. In each case, the substances that these individuals have died from have varied in their chemical makeup. Despite these claims, it is believed that there is an underlying similarity. These kids are in a bad way, you know. They hang around the wrong people. Under the influence, they find themselves vulnerable. Of course, uh, there's going to be higher instances of violence when drugs are involved. That's, that's the nature of their business. That's why with local sponsors, we are refocusing our resources and allocating new funds for prevention and sports programs. Old sailors came up to him unprovoked and said, you'll expose me, I know you will, if you live. Murder and suicide on Staten Island. The chaplain of the institution, Reverend Robert A. Quinn, had been holding religious services in the sailor's chapel and was on his return home when a sailor named Herman Ingalls confronted him saying, you'll expose me, I know you will, if you live. He immediately drew from his breast pocket a double-barreled pistol and fired at the Reverend. The ball entered his left breast, immediately into the heart, and after reeling for a few seconds, the Reverend dropped dead, exclaiming, I'm shot, I'm shot. The sailor then turned round, placed the pistol close to the side of his own head, he blew his whole lower his jaw. Whole lower jaw. And he died from that. And he, yeah. Herman Ingalls had some kind of issue with this reverend for some reason. Or maybe he had a